Hey, 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 Lindsay Banks here, psychic medium and intuitive. Welcome to today's conversation with. So over the last few months, I have been speaking with spirits of past leaders um, and people who wanted to come through who may have been persecuted in the past, um, assassinated um, for speaking their truth. So in today's video, I am sharing the channelings or the conversation that I had with Princess Diana a couple of weeks ago. If you're watching this and you think, you know, this woman's crazy, completely agree with you, yeah? Why these people are coming through, you know, and why to me, no idea. Can't explain it, but <clears throat> stay tuned and you will find out exactly what Princess Diana said. This was on the 17th of May. Whilst I was doing yoga, Princess Diana came through. So often when I'm doing yoga and I'm not even thinking about channeling spirits or speaking with spirits or anything else, they just pop in. So one time it was Mother Teresa and I was like, I'm doing my yoga, let me finish. So anyway, so I got really busy through the day um, and I completely forgot to connect with her to sit down. And later that night, someone had posted something on Facebook and had mentioned Princess Diana. So I thought I need to really sit down tomorrow and connect with her spirit and see what it is that she wants to um, convey at this time. So she came through, she's very softly spoken and obviously she's a very beautiful lady anyway. Um, and the first words were, that, well, this is basically what she said. So she said, um, I knew too much. I tried to break away, but they wouldn't let me. I knew I was going to be disposed of. It wasn't the right time for the truth to come out then, you see. My sons were too little at the time to understand. Now they are grown men. Although they will always be my little boys. I had been pre-warned that something was going to happen before the night of my accident. I was very much into the type of spiritual work you do. I had had readings done which told me to be careful. I also had dreams. My soul knew what was going to happen. Dordy was the love of my life. He had such utter respect for me and loved me for who I was without the labels or the pretense. I felt free when I was with him. Free as a bird. I was so pleased at that in my lifetime I was able to make a difference. When I first joined the royal family I was very shy. I didn't know who I was really. The more I involved myself in the work I did and enjoyed the more passionate I became. I began to sparkle inside which beamed outside. Unbeknown to me at the time I was a light worker. Shining my light for humanity. That is what many of you are here to do today Lindsay. To shine your lights as bright as you can for the world to see. Be passionate about what you do and be of service to others. <clears throat> I never really fitted into the way of life I ended up in. I always felt like an outsider. Yes, my physical presence was there, but emotionally I was switched off. My children were such a blessing to me and I found immense joy in their being. Becoming a mum was for me the best job in the world. I loved it. Of course, there were days that felt difficult. I was human too. And it would be wrong of me to tell you that my life was sweetness and light. I had my own challenges and lessons to learn, as do you. Being in the public eye was a challenge. It wasn't something I was used to, but I learned to use it to my advantage, to help others, to identify causes and issues that were happening around the world. When I realised that was my power, my gift, it raised my confidence. Yes, the media do get a lot of negative comments, but... When you learn to use it for the greater good, then the tide starts to turn. Think about that, Lindsay. There are some in the spotlight who haven't done this. There will be many people shocked and upset by the various actions of some people in the media. Movie stars, singers, celebrities. Some I met when I was here on planet Earth. They have their own lessons and challenges to learn whilst here. For the most part, I enjoyed my time on Earth and I feel I left a legacy, an energetic imprint of myself. The monarchy will crumble and will go their separate ways. It isn't meant for new earth. My boys and their families will continue to work for humanity and to serve others. They are currently in a position where they can do this. They will rid themselves of their titles in due course as they begin to open up and see we are all equal. I have visited them both in their dreams to bring guidance at this time. Many of us on this side are working with you all to assist with the ascension at this time. And then I could, I could see Princess Diana and it looked as though her heart was full of green sparkling diamonds or green sparkly diamonds. And she said, um, she said, do call on me if you need me. My spirit has no bounds or limitations. I feel free. 
So that was Princess Diana's words. So stay tuned because I have conversations with Joan of Arc, I have conversations with Martin Luther King, and who knows who else is going to be coming through to share their words of wisdom, not only for me, but for the collective. So, you know, I get something from the messages that they're bringing and I am basically told to share these messages with you guys. So please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Please share with someone if you feel that they need to see it and I will see you in the next video.